What is up guys, today I'm going to be doing another weapon showcase, um, this is the second strongest weapon in the game, and it's called the Superior Sacrificial Short Sword, and it's, uh, to obtain this weapon you're going to pretty much have to either open lockpicks like I said, or be later in the game and be kill an enemy, or buy it off a merchant, and as you can see it's right here in my, um, I could buy it right now, so uh, its base damage is 1,203, its durability is 60 out of 60, and its handling is 73. Um, it has 5 repairs and it has 3 upgrades, so let's buy this right now. And we have the. Where is it? I have so many. So it's right here, guys. Let me equip it. So this is how it looks like right here let me go outside and show you how this sword looks like and how good it looks okay so this is it looks like a weird type of paperish type of blade I don't really know what to call it but uh, yeah it's a one-handed weapon guys so it's a little bit uh, faster swinging than the machete but a little bit less damage also. The machete's base damage is the... I mean the katanas. What am I talking about machetes? The katana's base damage is uh, 1,500. And this is 1,203, I think. So pretty much... It, it might swing faster, but the katana still does more damage. And uh, like 300 more damage, so... Yeah, so when we upgrade this weapon, it'll be obviously the second strongest in the game, and the first fastest swinging weapon, pretty much. So, to upgrade this, we're going to need to... Wait, why am I going in there? To upgrade this, we're going to need to have three kings, and we're going to have need to have the blueprint called All-in-One. So... I don't have batteries, yep. How do I not have batteries? That is sad. I have everything in my inventory. Like, let's go get batteries then. Waste more time. Batteries, batteries, batteries. Oh my god. So much stuff. Yeah, so much stuff. Just don't mind my messy. Um, don't mind my messy little thing. Okay. Let's take all the batteries out. And then I could craft a new item. Perfect. There you go. It's about time I can. Inventory. Cut and go. It's a pretty good one. Um, so where's the all-in-one? Alright, there you go. And then... Okay, so it adds 388 damage to the base of the damage, which is 1,203. So let's create it. And the damage is... We go into our inventory, and the damage is 1,591, almost 1,600. So what we do next is we add the upgrades, which is king, king, and king. And it adds another 637 damage, and 24 durability, and 61 handling in addition. And its value increases, and we create the socket. Wait, no. Not remove and then we confirm yes and then its base damage is 2228 and its durability is 84 out of 84 handling 134 so it's technically the second strongest weapon in the game and it'll literally one hit we um one hit any zombie i think pretty much it'll one hit any zombie like that and let's go find more zombies. Like when they, like when I want to, like, oh man. Now we're gonna be trying to find zombies forever. All right. So pretty much one hit zombies, just like that. And this is one of my. I have to say the premium katana is amazing but this weapon I wish the katana could be a one-handed weapon then it would be much faster and then it would be like really easy to use because like I like this weapon a teensy tiny bit more than a katana but I still love the katana the premium katana obviously because 
it's just a beast. And this is also a beast, but it's a little bit weaker. Um, has 300 less damage than the actual katana, but more handling and more durability. So they're kind of pretty much equaled, I should say, except each one of them have their own like weaknesses and differences. But <clears throat> this guy can also slice through it pretty much any zombie in seconds. And yeah, this is an amazing freaking sword or premium sword, I guess. Yeah, guys, yeah. Nothing can breed the katana in this guy. Um, but I also have another... What's it called? I also have another weapon to show you. But that will be in the next video. Anyway, guys. I, ha I, hope, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I hope you look forward in trying to find this weapon. It's not that hard to get once you get into the... Pretty much like the end of the game. Or closer to the end. Or reach 100. You'll start being able to... Have killed zombies a lot easier, like slicing through them like this, and it's amazing. Like, you'll have so much fun just cutting zombies all day, and this will literally give you so much. Um, if you if you're not maxed out on your um, if you're not maxed out on your uh, combat, this will literally max you out like to the max, which I'm already 24, but. Yeah, guys. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what is the second best sword or the first best sword. Or if you have any good swords that have, like, really good base damage. And if they are upgraded with all-in-one or any other, um, any other upgrades and modifications, just tell me, guys. Write it in the comments. I would really like to know what weapons are good so I could uh, showcase them for you on here. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be doing more.